we begin tonight with a heartwarming story of love, a story of a local couple whose generosity and kindness is helping those less fortunate. Kent and Chantel Dudley have been adopting children since 2004. Not just any children, but medically fragile special needs children from the United States foster care system. Haiti Clotter has their incredible story. This is what a typical day looks like for the Dudleys, a house full of life. There are 10 kids playing around or receiving medical treatment. You can say they have a full house. For us, it just works better to have only the medical children. Kent and Chantel Dudley started adopting children with serious medical conditions and haven't looked back ever since. They blended their own family of seven children, have adopted six, and four are pending adoption. That brings them a total of 17 children. And I was assuming an orphanage overseas or, or you know, not married with other children, working with drug-addicted babies, I had no idea it was going to be looking like this, where we would adopt children one by one and and each one of our kids were drug addicted. Life wasn't always this way for the family. Kent spent 16 years as a chaplain and musician as part of his group, Bend and Knee. Chantel was a stay-at-home mom. Now that their life has gone in a different direction, their focus is on caring for their children full time. The music was a big, um, just a, a venue where we could go out and promote adoption. We talked a lot about adoption and I think there were somewhere around 10 to 12 families that stepped out and directly adopted because of the concerts we'd put on and talking about adoption. Usually if you ask most of our kids that can talk, uh, they'll just say, my mama couldn't take care of me. Or there was an accident and mama mm -hmm. couldn't take care of me. It's a completely different story from years ago when one child was left in the closet and tortured and another was left in the toilet. Math is just fun to play with. And he's funny which I really like having them here. I really love my mom and dad. They're, they're, best, they're the best ever. No parent should have to lose a child, and unfortunately, the Dudleys know that pain too well. Two of their daughters passed away, Renaya and Kaya. Those girls are never forgotten, as Chantel keeps the angel wings that hung in Renaya's room, and she has a special way to honor the girls with the memory tree. We wanted to hold on to her. But even today, we know that she's not hurting anymore. Some of the kids don't know what Christmas feels like and will finally experience that for the first time, waking up with their family and seeing what gifts are under the tree. The thought of children going to bed at night and not having parents to read to them or to tuck them in, um, to have Christmas with a family, that still, even 10 kids later, that still bothers me. Of course, this wouldn't be possible without the help from others. The Dudleys have nurses, PCAs, and LVNs to help care for the children. Chantel calls them her all-stars. Our family, some of these nurses get, um, they get hands-on experience where even in school, they're not offered that with the specialty peds. And so it's, it's been fun. On this night, the nurses are in until 7, then the Dudleys take over. They split the shifts, and it works for them. I would much rather do hands-on, giving showers, getting kids dressed, being on the floor, rolling around, playing. Um, Mom is great with appointments and forms and medications and doctors and coordinating nurses, and these are going on every day. Six children are tube-fed, and three are on a trach. With everything they experience on a daily basis, it can be tough sometimes. The Dudleys continuously uplift each other and sometimes enjoy time to themselves in their personal sanctuary, also known as the living room. We're best friends. When he's having a really tough day, I'll usually be a little stronger that day, and vice versa. For such a big family, one will need a big house. Bend and Knee Ranch was built five years ago, and the Dudleys renovated the house themselves. It's a team effort. Kent builds and Chantel decorates. It's also expensive. Last January, the electric bill was $1,200. We get a subsidy that keeps, you know, the cupboards full, and our supply list is off the charts. You would not believe the supplies we go through. Um, the medical side of it's covered, but the supply end is not. The Dudleys have told themselves, we didn't break these children, we're trying to make them better. That's what they're doing, one child at a time. 
Their message is simple. These children aren't a burden. They're miracle babies and deserve to be loved. In Solway, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. The Dudley family is now 19 members strong and their passion for music is still present. They plan on singing again and even Victoria has gotten on stage and sang with her dad. Kent says it was one of the greatest rewards of his life to share that moment with his daughter. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.